Hey, thanks for clicking on this video. I am going to camp up there on that mountain tonight. That's Bluff Knoll in Western Australia. It's 1,099 meters high. It's the fourth highest mountain in the state. And uh, I'm climbing the top of it and sleeping up there tonight. So it's boiling hot. <laughs> Come with me, it's gonna be so good. Here we are, let's get going. The sign says it's a three to four hour return walk. Of course I won't be returning, so probably one to two hours I reckon. <laughs> Man, so good. So good, amazing. So the trails are class four. Steep gradients, rough and uneven surfaces that may be wet and slippery. 1,095 meters, 3.1 k's to summit. And here we are here. Car park up that way and then turn up to the summit so what have i brought this trip i've got tent i've got food and some breakfast for the morning i've got about four liters of water um so hopefully that's enough it is really muggy and when i was at the car park there was a light breeze so um there's no breeze here under the trees but hopefully the wind isn't too strong up the top. I can chuck the drone up. <sighs> so beautiful. Look at the view through the, through the trees. Tiny little skink just in there. Well, it's not that tiny. It's just small. Oh, there he is. <sighs> Definitely uh, going straight into going uphill, which is good. 2.6 k's to go. All right, summit, 2.1 Ks. Man, good spot for a rest. I love the rocks on this mountain. They're like so rugged. So beautiful. So, we've got this little bum bag. It's just off 
Timu. It's a pretty cheap little thing. But I wanted to try out the idea of carrying stuff at the front while having a backpack on your back. Um, obviously, I've just taken my backpack off to get my drink bottle out. <laughs> so it'd be cool if this had like little drink bottle holders on the side or something. So I'm trying to find another design that has like drink bottle holders. So I like having my camera gear and like phone and all that just quickly accessible. And it's actually more comfortable to carry, I find, having a bit of weight uh, forward um, to counteract the weight on your back from, the, from your backpack. But this Hyperlite pack is so good. I love it. Um, there's one thing, it's just I wish the drink, drink bottles were easier to get out of it. But it's okay. It's nice. This is like 20 bucks or something, or 19 bucks. Yeah. So yeah, it's good. Getting there. So a few hundred meters will be halfway, which will be good. So I have my drink bottle like that. We'll hold it for now. Pretty good. Problem solved. Oh, so this is a waterfall. No, at the moment, obviously, it's just rocks. Um, but last time I came here, uh, it was like rushing with water and the water was like the freshest, like most delicious water. And I was running all the way down, cascading over all the rocks down there. But yeah, obviously, there's nothing here today. I was kind of hoping there'd be at least a little trickle, but it is February, so it's probably not gonna happen this time of year. Whew. Man, just passed a couple of hikers. They, uh, they were heading down and they, Seemed a lot more refreshed and energetic than me. Uh, 1.6 to go. It's time. Oh, it's 5.43. All right, I better get, get moving for one camp set up before it's dark. Amazing. So good. All right, that view is just incredible. I'm not even at the top yet. And alive. All right. 1.1 Ks. All right, so here there's a bit of a ridge between the peaks. So over that way, and then that way. And the track kind of sneaks up through it and goes up that way towards the summit. Oh, 
Yay, 100 meters, last sign. Man, it's making me work for it. I haven't done this with a pack on my back before. Whew. We're nearly there. This view never gets old. How beautiful. Man, get it, make sure I don't fall. So what I need to do now is find some uh, somewhere to set up the tent. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but the level, the ground around here isn't exactly level. But I have seen other guys that have found a spot to set up a tent up here before, so we should find somewhere. There's a little spot there. Um, that probably looks like something good. Or in around these trees is a little spot as well. But I'll go for a bit of a wander around and find somewhere. Alright, when I stand up, there's like so much wind. So I just ducked down here behind the rocks. Um, the only, well, the best spot that I found for the tent is over there. Um, it's big enough for the tent. It's on a slight slope. It's pretty rocky. But the thing is, this wind's picked up and it's right in the wind. It's like, it's not going to be that enjoyable. Um, so what I might do, I might start boiling some water for dinner. And then I'll, um, I'll let that boil up here. I don't really want to sleep here, only because the cliff edge is right there, like literally a meter from where I'm sleeping. So, um, I mean, the view is amazing, but I'm not, I don't really want to be that close to the edge for obvious reasons. Um, so, what I've got for a tent <laughs> is a little thing that I bought off uh, Wish about two years ago. And I've never used it before. So it's probably not the best camp to come on with a tent that I've never used. Um, and a wish tent at that. So we'll see how I go. It is a hiking pole tent, so I'm gonna have to use one of my hiking poles to set it up. About the tent. Windy. Oh, that's gone out. That's not good. All right, here we go, found this spot next to this rock. It's actually nice and level, and it's really, sh it's more sheltered than the other spot I was at. Looks good to me. All right, looks like that's lovely and boiled. So I've got roast lamb and vegetables. See how that goes. I would be cooking, but I didn't want to bring 
anything more up than I had to. So bare minimum coming up here. As I was already carrying a fair bit with all the camera gear and the drones and stuff. This one. Oh, got some bickies with it. Oh, we'll see how that goes. That might just have to do. Make sure these don't blow away. Give them a stir. And I'll set the tent up. So I think I'll set the tent up right here. This is the inner tent. And uh, it goes something like that. I'll move this out of the way. So I did get a couple of rocks from laying around. I'll use these to take it out. Had my Alton peg, my good Alton peg, and uh, I was meant to hammer it in the ground. I must have hit a rock and snapped. Oh uh, well, my first one of these that's broke. I've had um, had them for years. It's so good. All right, so I think this is the idea. We put a peg, a hiking pole in here. Go. This is like a real thin mozzie net. It feels really cheap and not very good. But if I move this to the side, maybe this side, I'll probably fit in there and then I'll be able to sleep. There is a rope on the top up here which I'll I'll tie back I'll tie back onto one of the trees up there all right so this is what she looks like I've put I've tied it to my bag with a couple of carabiners and uh, got the rocks holding it down I think that's all you're really going to be able to see for now. I'll give you a proper tour of what I've done in the morning. Um, but yeah, I'm happy. It's uh, waterproof, relatively windproof. Uh, this wind, it's, it wasn't forecast, but it was forecast to come up a little bit in the evening. So it'll, I'm pretty sure it won't be as windy in the morning. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm going to have some dinner and then head to bed. It's pitch black. You can currently see a few lights in the distance, but I can't see any view at all. There wasn't really much of a sunset. Um, so I'm gonna head to bed, have some food, and then head to bed. It's a bit annoying, but um, look, you can't really tell how things are gonna pan out when you start to head out on one of these trips, so that's all right. I will see you guys in the morning, unless I have news tonight. I really hope I don't. <laughs> have any news for you guys tonight um so yeah it's gonna be a good night i think i'll sleep pretty well after that hike <laughs> i'm so stuffed see you in the morning guys
Last night was wild. We, um, man, I think I slept about an hour. And this, this shelter actually did all right. I had to lower it twice. Um, so I did that just by lowering the trekking poles. And I ended up with just the uh, just the fly wrapped around me because it just kept um, it kept grabbing the wind, and the wind was just buffering it everywhere. It was so windy. Like the wind now is nothing compared to how windy it was last night. It's like gale force wind, um, which is really annoying because I specifically came out today or last night because I knew the wind. Well, the forecast was that the wind was going to drop off and it was going to be dead calm. But that obviously didn't happen. Um, man, I was so nervous, uh, like, right on the top of the cliff there. Um, I didn't sleep a lot. Most of it was just trying to hold on to the fly, keeping it tied around me, stopping the, um, stopping the wind from blowing it away. Come up with me in the tent, I'll show you what it is. Alright, so the tent, the wish tent, did pretty well actually. Um, nothing broke. Uh, so that was actually surprising. <laughs> I want to do a, a review, like put it through the test and see what I can break on it eventually. Um, but not being able to put pegs in here uh, isn't really that fair on it because. The way it's designed, it's like a hexagon shape. The fly comes over this, and it's got like a little triangle on each side underneath the fly to put your bag and stuff, which is actually a pretty cool design. I think it's similar to the Hyperlight uh, Ultralight tent, um, which is the same uh, brand as my bag, uh, but they're very expensive. So I, I actually ended up with the fly wrapped around me with my sleeping mat and sleeping bag on top of um, on top of the tent so they just kept it getting caught in the wind and wind was blowing everywhere um, but yeah it was a tough night it was from about 12 to 3 it was like full like gale force wind it was like insanely strong winds and when the even though the wind started from that direction so I, I initially had shelter behind this rock um, by like morning time early morning time it was like just swirling around everywhere and you know the rock was pretty much not doing anything protection wise but it's good I'm still here I didn't end up blown off down the cliff which is good because I wouldn't be here if I was um, yeah I was definitely definitely praying a lot last night it was very uh, very humbling indeed these rocks didn't move at all I was actually quite surprised I thought I needed bigger rocks than these um, but these were actually pretty good so I'm gonna stow these under a bush and if anyone needs them look in this area <laughs> if you ever come up here and you'll find a bunch of big rocks they're like the only loose rocks on this whole mountain I'm pretty sure I spent a while uh, trying to find them yeah I'm kind of a bit bummed that it didn't it's not as scenic as I was hoping it would be and it's a lot more windy than I was expecting it to be but look it's always beautiful being out in nature it's it always blows you away and right, a night out here in the worst conditions it's still better than sitting at home right so that's good to go I'm just gonna pick up these rocks move them aside would hate for someone to trip on them um, walking along here I uh, yeah I always like to leave it super tidy uh, just how it was so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna start walking down A big walk down back to the car which is 
three and a half k's down that way. One last look at that view. That's the Stirling Ranges, south coast of WA. It's so amazing. There is a hike. It's pretty advanced hike, but it goes to the top of each of these. I think it's nine peaks through these ranges and it hikes all the way through and up to this peak, the tallest on, on Bluff Knoll as well. That would be awesome to do one day. But yeah, it'll be a big, a big hike. You'd be pretty much going a mountain a day, more than a mountain a day. One day on the bucket list for sure. All right, I'm gonna get going. Wow, I just, I don't want to go back down now. Check out this view. And there's so much less wind on this side of the hill. Just kind of come down from that peak a little bit, that peak behind me. And there's so much less wind. Far out, I should have camped down here somewhere. But the, the, the ground is very rocky and very uneven, so. Far out. You just sit there forever, hey, take that in. Got a feeling this might be a long walk down. <laughs> Mate. God just, he just does it right, hey. Hopefully you guys can see, but there's the ocean all the way out there. That's the Southern Ocean. Uh, Southern Ocean? Oh, no. That's that's the ocean that's between Australia and Antarctica. Man, that's so good. Looks like we got a few people coming up. It's amazing. Oh, just rolled my ankle. Ah. Oh. So I just rolled my ankle back there, uh, right near the edge of the cliff, which could have been dangerous, but these things saved me from falling over, not over the cliff, but over onto the ground. Um, yeah. So that was a bit of a reminder to just be careful. Um, <laughs> and then I looked down and I had one of my shoelaces undone. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and be careful because I wanna get down with two ankles working. Uh, but yeah, I might just uh, chuck my AirPods in, put a podcast on and uh, just focus on getting down. Being, being careful where I step, obviously. Uh, but yeah, come along. I'll give you some shots of the the most nicest pass, parts. Most nicest. I'm pretty sure that's good English. Um, yeah, all right. <laughs> See you down there.
So car park's just ahead, just up these few steps. And uh, man, how awesome has this been? <clears throat> that trip down was so easy. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat is like dying. <laughs> um, man, that is an epic climb. Amazing views. What an awesome night. Next time, I'll bring a different tent and I'll make sure, well, probably more importantly, I'll make sure I give myself enough time to set up properly. But, man, that was an epic little trip. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. I'm gonna leave this one there. Catch you guys in the next one. Please, if you haven't subscribed, click that subscribe button. If you like this video, like it. You know all the things to do. Share if you want to share. Thanks so much, guys. Whew. Man, love you. We'll see you next time.